let's bring our politicians in. Um, Mims, you were nodding madly at the beginning yeah. of what Vivian was saying. What, what struck you about Vivian's comments about making the internet a safer but also a nicer place for well, young people? Well, I'm growing up an 18-year-old and a 13-year-old, two girls. Uh, I see this in casework, so I see this with worried parents about the content that is uh, coming through, the pressure on diet pills, um, the suicide content, the stuff that's been out there. And we have done a thorough job, a very welcome job on fixing this. Um, and I really welcome this becoming an act. It's a bit like the Environment Act that took two and a half years with pre-legislative scrutiny to, to bring forward. Uh, with a changing environment. You've just talked in your young life and what an incredible young woman you are. I had the pleasure of uh, looking after youth for DWP as a minister and I'm constantly inspired by our young people. Uh, and talking to the end, I'm very jealous. Uh, well done you and just so eloquent this morning about it and hearing from the youth voice in this. That really matters. Young people love the internet. They are digital natives. But if we got our phones out now, we'd all start scrolling we do all, it's like a Mexican way. Yeah. You can't but stay off them. It's really, no, really no. hard. I mean, and it's hard enough right. for teachers without yeah. policing phone use. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, I've got a couple of people in my team who are former teachers. And, you know, they want everyone engaged. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, as you realise, education yeah. is quite a short time. It feels yeah. quite a long time. <laughs> but it really, really do matters. And if you don't get that concentration level, if you don't learn that, that will affect you long term. We, so I think it's important. We're going to leave it there because we've got another story about education as well. So nice to meet you. Thank you for coming Thank in. Thank you so much. Bravo.